Ladies and gentlemen, we have a problem. We have a problem. There's a problem in New York, and there's a problem in L.A. Ladies and gentlemen, we have problems. There is no way around this. There is no way to sugarcoat this. Based on two things that have transpired in the last 24 hours, ladies and gentlemen, we have a problem. We have a problem. It's a big one. Hey, guys, it's Oogs. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. We have problems. Problems FC, Chelsea Football Club at the moment. If anybody is going to tell you otherwise, he's trying to lie to you because we have so many issues going on in the club now that uh, it's really confusing you don't even know where to start and how to structure your video because the very next minute you're gonna get another news that will contradict what just happened like 30 minutes ago so it keeps changing all the time you know what i mean so we have problems but all i can tell you is that uh, other people are working behind the scenes to solve problems and we know dramas pays very good you know and all the headlines are made just to attract people's attention yes we have problems but yes we are trying to solve them because we are chelsea football club okay my people so we heard you know few hours ago that roman abramovich wanted his money back after saying that he's not gonna get his money back from chelsea football club this one also is so confusing to be honest with you because depending on the source that you are reading and why he changed his mind the truth is somewhere okay only abramovich the Rens group, all those people know the truth. Nobody, not you, not journalists, not anybody, those are just speculations. But there's a reason why Abramovich would like to have his money back. And the question is, if that was true, there is a big if here, right? If that was true, are you going to hate Roman Abramovich for wanting his money back? Or are you going to take it in a nice way and try to find some positivity out of this? For me, personally, what Roman Abramovich has done to Chelsea Football Club is more than enough. Is more than $1.5 that he's going to get from the club because what he did is more than that. We, we are probably the most valuable club in the world now because of Abramovich. So I think 1.5 billion is not, nothing for me compared to, to everything, to the global brand that we built because of that man. So we have to wait and see um, exactly what is the problem. And also keep in mind, he's just a human being like you and me. He's trying to do the best he can. He helped the medical people in, in the UK give his hotel, give money to charities, you know, helping all over the world, supporting poor people and medical research and all that. And all of a sudden, you want to get every penny that he invested in in UK. So he became like a like a punching bag to send to, 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 to set an example that we did something instead of attacking Putin who did something. So if I was him really, why am I going to continue giving money to people who are trying to punish me? Just think about it. He's just a human being. He might say, you know what? I put Chelsea in that level. They should be fine from now on. I'm going to get a little bit of my money back and continue 
my life somewhere else. I'm not going to blame him, to be honest with you, the end of the day. But how about yourself? Are you going to hate Roman Abramovich if he decides to take his money? Keep in mind, there's still speculations and the truth is going to come out slowly and surely. Nobody knows the truth yet and don't blame people, don't attack people because it's just still confusing. But I can tell you, calma, calma, calma. No matter what's going to happen, Chelsea Football Club are going to be fine. All right, people. So let's move on very quickly to, uh, I don't know if you can call it good news or bad news or whatever it is. So the process continues. The Bali group won, you know, the process so far, I think they've been approved by the Premier League. Um, all the background checks been done. Everything is progressing really smoothly so far. But we still have about 25 days to save chelsea football club because if we don't sell chelsea football club until the end of this month we could go under administration we could be relegated i don't know what division it's a lot of stuff that could happen if the last minute something happened and the bowley group decides to get away okay but in the meantime sir jim Ratcliffe is waiting in the pipeline in case something happened he's gonna jump with his four billion and then buy chelsea football club but listen i don't see us going through administration i don't see us going that far but we have just to keep an open mind okay so boldly it's not time to say welcome yet because still a long process to go but he has a big job ahead you know uh, he need for me what he should do first of all sign Thomas Tuchel for a long term contract and then try to renew uh, the contract of players that we have now the loan army and also the academy people like Chris James and, and Mason Mount deserve a very good contract because other clubs are watching right now and then we are going to focus on intelligence intelligent buys you know because this guy is coming with some geniuses that will find people like you know uh diaz for example he they will find engolo kante from the second division instead of engolo kante from leicester city does that make sense okay so they're gonna find people before they become big and we're gonna make them big at chelsea football club the way liverpool are doing now so big job ahead for this guy but it's very promising for me because i am sick and tired of quick fix okay you can win few trophies here and there you suck the manager you got the momentum the manager bounce boom you win one or two trophies and then you go to another crisis for three years and then you bring some other i'm sick and tired of quick fix now we have to to to, to put somebody for long term thomas tuko need to be there but we're gonna develop we're gonna talk more about thomas tuko in the next coming videos because he has also a lot of things to change okay i want him but he need also to change his attitude toward certain players. All right, people. So as we are preparing for Todd Bowley to come, let's go and read some of the, he the headlines on social at the moment. Okay, so just confirmed what I just said. Chelsea are in danger of Premier League expulsion uh, and the clock is ticking. Yeah, it's not going to happen, my friend. You can say whatever you want. Okay, so a lot. Like I said, it's, it's just confusing. You don't even know what's going on, really. 
Jim Cliff still waiting there in the pipeline. Look at that. Uh, the potential solution has yet to be discussed with Abramovich, but his camp had already been confident a deal can still be completed despite um, a tumultuous 24 hours in which he had appeared to uh, renege a promise. Yeah, it is what it is. So we don't know what's going to happen, my friend. So stay tuned and I will keep you updated. Chelsea sell could be smooth by Brexit style backstop. I don't know even what that means. I don't want to get to details. And like I said, this is very, very confusing. A lot of information is coming from right center everywhere. You don't know what to believe and what not to believe. So the only thing to do now is to stay calm. Stay calm because there are people who are walking 24 7 to get this done we should be fine i am not worried about anything